If you're working as a health, fitness, or wellness professional, you're going to come across clients that are dealing with digestive symptoms, and this video is going to help you understand the two most important moves to help clients fix just about any digestive symptom. Let's jump in. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So we're talking about symptoms like burping or bloating or acid reflux or constipation, diarrhea, nausea, or even acne or skin type issues. Or maybe the client just has a lot of indigestion problems or they just kind of feel like food just kind of sits there like a rock in their stomach for hours after they eat it. So what we need to do is help clients pass these issues because when digestion isn't working correctly, it's likely going to create a lot of other symptoms as well beyond just the actual digestive symptom itself. Now there are some really simple steps that will help some people like just taking digestive enzymes with a meal or maybe a little bit of apple cider vinegar, but most people dealing with significant issues are going to need a lot more than that. And we're going to need to help the two major sides of digestion, either one of them or both of them for each client. So here's how it works. When we eat food, our stomach makes hydrochloric acid or HCL. And this HCL is meant to help acidify that food so we can start to break it down. Now, once the food is properly acidified in the stomach, it leaves the stomach and goes into the duodenum. Then the gallbladder squirts this alkaline bile down onto the acid product that leaves the stomach. So when this alkaline bile meets the acid product that leaves the stomach, it creates this sizzle. And the sizzle is what helps that client really bust the food apart and pull all the nutrients out of that food. So that's why we eat food, to get the nutrients out of there. But the problem is it's very common for someone not to be making enough stomach acid for a wide variety of reasons. They don't need to be make, taking a, a PPI or some type of you know, acid blocking medication. There's a lot of reasons that a person may not be making enough hydrochloric acid in the first place. So if they're not making enough hydrochloric acid, they can't acidify that food correctly. It's also really common for someone's bile to become too thick and sticky to flow correctly. So if bile's not flowing, it's not coming down and neutralizing those acids that leave the stomach. That can create a lot of symptoms on its own, but you're also not getting that sizzle. And when you're not getting that sizzle, you're not really breaking the food apart like you should. And then the food breaks down by process of rotting and fermenting. And that rotting and fermenting can create a lot of gases and pressure and toxins and a lot of problems and a lot of those symptoms that a person experiences. So any of the symptoms that we talked about can come from either of those sides of digestion not working correctly, but for the most part, it's most common to see these following symptoms when someone is low on stomach acid. We'll see burping, bloating, constipation, Acid reflux, yes, acid reflux is caused by a lack of stomach acid. It's not caused by too much stomach acid like, like people think. So if you want more information on a specific symptom like acid reflux, check the description below this video and we'll put other topics that we've covered where we dig a little bit deeper into specific symptoms that your clients might be dealing with and the underlying causes and, and how to fix those. But if someone is not making enough stomach acid, those are the most common symptoms you're going to see. If someone's bile is not flowing correctly, it's really common to see things like uh, chronic diarrhea or, or loose stools, um, nausea, uh, acne or, or skin issues or a lot of gas. Just keep in mind that there are other imbalances and issues that can create or magnify issues like constipation or chronic diarrhea. So it's not always one of these, but with most digestive symptoms, one or both of these major players is at stake and improving them can improve the symptom for the person. But my book Health Pro Results can actually help you learn how to walk through with each client to figure out which aspects of digestion are not working correctly and then which steps to take to help improve that issue. And it'll also help you understand how to help your clients run simple self-tests at home that they can do with tools they pick up at a pharmacy or health food store to see if they're dealing with one of those imbalances that could magnify either constipation or diarrhea. And the book is available on Amazon, but I'm going to put a link in the description below this video where you can download the whole thing for free and you can get the whole book totally free. It's also important to understand that there are some issues that can magnify these problems for some clients. Like if someone has a bacterial overgrowth in their stomach or small intestine, the alkaline waste from that bacteria can be neutralizing the small amount of HCL that they're making. 
and it can create a lot of problems that way. So they may need to take steps to reduce that overgrowth before they see a lot of success. And if a client is taking either birth control or some type of medication that can really raise estrogen levels, high estrogen levels can really thicken up the bile and keep it from flowing correctly. So you might take some of these steps that we talk about to thin the bile out so it flows better, but if they're taking these medications, they may be having an uphill climb and not see the success that you really wanna see. So they may need to work with their doctor to find other solutions so that they don't need those medications that are thickening up the bile and magnifying the problem. So in a minute, I'm gonna point you to a video that'll give you some steps to help clients thin out the bile because that's really what it's about. It's about thinning the bile so that it flows correctly. You don't need to use things like ox bile to replace bile if you can help the person thin out their bile and get it to flow correctly. Now we use ox bile a lot with people who have lost their gallbladder and they don't have a place to store this bile to be used with each meal. But the goal shouldn't be to use ox bile with most of your clients. You really want to help them thin the bile so the digestion can work the way that it's supposed to work. Now to help acidify the food correctly, it is true that some people can use apple cider vinegar if they just need that little boost and that'll help them. But for most people, they need more significant help and they need to actually supplement with HCL capsules. And the amount that they use and the timing of when they use it and how to use it can be very specific and it can really vary from client to client. So chapter three of that book that I told you how to get for free in the description below will walk you through that process. You really want to understand that process. You don't want clients just taking HCL willy-nilly and not understanding how to use it correctly. Uh, the directions on the bottle are often not enough for most people to really see real results. Some people need to take more. And when they're taking a higher dosage, you really want to make sure that they're doing it the right way. So that book will walk you through that process and help you teach clients how to do that the right way. But when they can acidify the stomach, now they can break down the food correctly and get all the minerals out of the food. Now the body has the minerals it needs to start making its own hydrochloric acid. The body needs minerals to be able to make that stomach acid and a lot of people don't have enough minerals to do that and sometimes that's the problem. So when someone can supplement with HCL enough to start getting the minerals out of their food and the body starts to make more of its own HCL, then they can reduce the amount that they're supplementing with. Our BioEye membership for health professionals also has done for you courses that really teach your clients how to do all this stuff, how to look at their physiology and figure out which aspects of digestion aren't working correctly and then walks them through the steps on how to fix it so you don't have to hold each one's hand. And with the membership, you can either give your clients these courses or you can sell them to your clients and, and you keep all the money that comes with the membership. So we'll put information in the description below about how you can check out that membership if that's something you want to do. But the book below that you can get for free gives you all the information you need to teach your clients to do it the right way. So let us know how that goes. And for now, Watch our video on five steps to help clients thin their bile so they can get it flowing better and you'll have a better understanding of how to help clients do that. I can't wait to hear about your results.